What we found here is a partial skeleton of a woolly mammoth. It was an adult male, probably in its 40s at the time of its death, probably lived between 10,000 and 15,000 years ago. It's not all of the animal. In fact, it's the skull, the jaw, the tusks, many of the vertebrae, not all of them, many of the ribs, not all of them, some of the pelvis, part of one shoulder blade, actually part of the other shoulder blade too, one kneecap. Other than that one kneecap and the shoulder blades and pelvis, we have nothing of the forelimbs or hind limbs, no feet. So those are parts that are somewhere else. They could be more distant, buried here at the site. It could be that they were eaten right after the animal was acquired. Our working hypothesis for what we're dealing with here is a partial skeleton the pieces having been brought to this place by ancient humans for storage of carcass parts in a pond, it was their intent to come back later and retrieve this when they needed fresh meat. We have, I would say, three types of evidence for human activity. One of the students found a small fragment of what we think is a stone tool. A second line of evidence is this sequence of articulated neck vertebrae that we had. An animal doesn't just come apart naturally, leaving a sequence of tightly articulated vertebrae like that. The third evidence of human activity is we found three large boulders next to one another in one place just offset from the skull. And we've seen those before. We think that they are a kind of anchor. One element of how big a deal it is will depend on the geologic age of this specimen when we get it dated. We don't know that yet. It might s sort of stretch backward in time, our idea of when humans were here in Michigan and active in this sort of way. I would say being able to demonstrate that humans were here, and especially if it turns out they were here well back in time, those will be things that work to make this more and more important.